Hi everyone, uh, today a quick review of HIV and AIDS. Now HIV stands for the Human Immunodeficiency Virus. Um, now this virus is what leads to AIDS. This virus uh, attacks the immune system so the body cannot fight off infections. It's these infections that ultimately kill people with HIV. Now, HIV will develop into acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, and that's the AIDS syndrome. On average, it takes uh, about 10 years to go from HIV to AIDS. That's the transition. It can happen sooner, it can take longer. The important thing to, to note is during this time, 15% of the people infected have no idea they're infected, so they can keep spreading the virus. So how do we combat that? Right off the bat, how do we stop that? Get tested. Everyone in America should get at least one HIV test to see if you're positive because you have no idea. Again, it can last 10 years, sit dormant, and you have no symptoms. Get tested. Now, how is HIV transmitted? Well, overwhelmingly uh, male-to-male sex. Guys, wear a condom. Um, gay, straight, really doesn't matter. It's the deadly virus you're spreading. Uh, so please practice safe sex. Overwhelming, 68% male-to-male uh, -male sex. After that, um, heterosexual activity uh, can be transmitted through AIDS. Important to note in healthcare that only 1% of all the HIV cases uh, come from needle sticks, which is the majority of them. And included in that 1% are also babies born with HIV, HIV acquired through uh, blood transfusions. So in the healthcare field, it's rare that we contract HIV. How would you contract it? Through a needle stick. Now, what is the difference in precautions you're gonna take when starting an IV on someone with HIV versus someone who does not have HIV? There's no difference. The standards should be the same. Uh, there's no increased risk starting an IV with someone who has HIV. Just watch the needle. Use your standard precautions. I can't remember the last time I started an IV on someone then stuck myself with it. Knowing that, if you do that with an HIV positive patient, you will contract HIV. But the technique and the standard precautions should be the same for all patients.